Welcome everyone to episode of Smart Continues. I just want to speak to us today about positive confidence. Yes, our ability to still remain a stone cold healer whenever life deals, hardships, disappointments, and majority of the rejections. Yes, we still need to maintain our positive confidence. Yes, our positive confidence actually is needed whenever we face edge moments. An edge moment is whenever we hear that little voice in our head that tells you, hey, you should quit. Hey, you're too old. Hey, you can't finish that course in four months. Hey, you probably can't finish and learn that new skill in three weeks. Hey, you should probably quit and go home. You should probably give up. This is not for you. People from you don't do these kind of things. It's that voice that's telling you to quit. It's that voice that's telling you to stop. The only time you should actually listen to that voice is actually when you want to go forward. I want you to actually persevere because whenever we face our edge moments, that's when it comes time for us to even become more confident. That is when we have to turn on more willpower, more resilience, and more mental toughness because I faced an edge moment this morning whenever I ran. Yes, whenever I ran a little short distance sprint, I always used to, I, I always ran out of my breath. So I always stopped and asked myself, why do I always stop at the 70, um, uh, 70 uh, inch mark and I never ever get to the 100 uh, feet mark? So that is me actually not getting past my fear. My fear is the fact that I stride out really fast. I burst out the gate, Usain Bolt style. And then I start getting tired by 40, start getting tired by 60, and by 70, I'm ready to quit. And then I still have 30 more yards and 30 more feet to go. So this is me actually not being efficient with my strides. This is me not being efficient with my edge moment. So I actually told myself, hey, we need to push through this edge moment. So I told myself, we're gonna apply more plaid. What is plaid? Plaid is what the jockeys actually do to the horses whenever they're on top of the horses and the horses just come out of the gate whenever you're watching a derby. It's when the jockey's hitting the horse because the horse is transmitting a lot of energy towards the jockey and the jockey can feel that the horse is actually getting tired. So the horse actually knows that the jockey needs to know this information immediately. So the jockey actually starts to hit the horse even harder for more plaid and more willpower and more resilience to come out because that horse needs to finish the length of the race. This is the same thing I told myself. I have to finish the race, I have to finish. So when I ran 10 sprints, 100 yards, I was actually able to be consistent because I told myself whenever I face my edge moment, I'll actually turn on more willpower, more plaid, and more force. But majority of us lose our confidence whenever we get the opportunity to apply more plaid because we ask ourselves and tell ourselves, hey, this is not for me. I'm not good enough. Hey, I'm just going to pass out and hurt myself. This is not really for people like myself. Nobody has done something like me. But I want you to get out of your own way because whenever you're watching a unique athlete, LeBron James, the reason why he's able to be himself, the reason why Giannis Antetokounmpo to Kumpo, uh, James Harden, or, and, and any other elite athlete. The reason why they're able to remain elite is because from city to city, night to night, they're able to be consistent. This is the reason why they have averages. We don't actually pay them per game. We pay them for a whole season because day by day, we know one game they're going to go 10 for 35. But that same superstar, should his name be James Harden, should his name be LeBron James, he shows up next game. He's still holding his follow through too. He's still very confident on his passes. He's snapping his elbows out. And I'm telling you, that is how he still remains confident because he can have a 10 for 35 night in Milwaukee. And and then go 45 minutes up the street to the United Center in Chicago and then go a, 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 a 20 for 35 and actually finish with 50 points. What actually changed? His confidence remains the same. That is what actually did not change. So this is actually the issue. The issue is the fact that a lot of us change our confidence. A lot of us change our endurance because we feel we're not worthy. So if we were the guy in Milwaukee, we won't show up in Chicago and we will show up in Indiana. We might just lose the whole road trip because a lot of us go from defeating moments to defeating moments because we always relinquish our power whenever it comes time for us to push through and actually get more strength within our edge moments. Life is about getting through our edge moments in order for us to remain a 10 because that is how we remain and maintain the confidence. Because if not, rejection is going to handle us. If not, failure is going to handle us. If not, disappointment is going to handle us. The difference between us and anybody else is the fact that we can actually remain positively, confidently positive.